what is a state? There are four critical or necessary characteristics of a state in, a, in political science. They are territory, population, government, and sovereignty. The first necessary characteristic is territory. Territory means land with specific boundaries. If you look at a map, you can find the land mass and boundaries of a country. Here you can see, by means of a map, the territories of the United States and the People's Republic of China. Each has a mass of land within a specified boundary. The second necessary characteristic is population. Population refers to a permanent group of people that live within the boundaries of a territory. How many is not an issue. China has a population well over a billion. The Vatican City, found in the heart of Rome, Italy, is a square mile in size and has a population of only 832. However, those 832 are the permanent residents of the Vatican. They are its population. Antarctica has territory. It has no population. It also has no government or sovereignty. It's a continent because it has territory, but it's not a state because it lacks population, government, and sovereignty. The third necessary characteristic is a government. A government is an organized social political structure for making decisions and exercising authority. Sometimes governments collapse and disappear. At the end of World War II, when Germany surrendered, it ceased to have a government. That meant that Germany was no longer a state as defined in political science. Beginning in the 1990s, the state of Somalia in East Africa experienced a breakdown of its government. The government had no control over the country. Groups of rebels loyal to warlords roved the country doing as they wished. Somalia was referred to as a failed state, meaning that it now failed to meet the requirements of being a state in the international community. Governments usually have to do two things exercise authority and control within their country, and be recognized by other governments in the international community. The final characteristic is sovereignty. Sovereignty means having the ability to determine your own fate and decide your own policy. The Philippines between 1898 and 1914 were a colony of the United States. As a colony, they had territory, a population, and a government. However, that government could not make the most important decisions. Only the President of the United States and Congress could make these decisions. The government in the Philippines had to live with those decisions and carry them out on the islands. Since the Philippines lacked sovereignty, it was not a state. It was a colony. Scotland is part of the United Kingdom. It has territory, a government in Edinburgh with a first minister and a population. However, the Scottish government is limited in the decisions it can make. As of this recording, the people of Scotland are in the process of being asked if they want complete sovereignty. Should they choose and gain complete sovereignty they would become an independent state and no longer part of the United Kingdom. After 1898, Cuba became free from Spain. However, its existence was still limited. In matters of diplomacy and defense, the Cuban government had to get an agreement from the United States government. Cuba was not a colony, but is what was called a protectorate. A protectorate does not have complete sovereignty. Its powers to set its own destiny are limited in the areas of foreign policy and defense by another state. To be a state, all four 
of the characteristics must be present. If you can check all four characteristics present and accounted for, then you have a state in terms of political science.